so you can actually do a bit of a look at that that is so cool All right, so let's explore the community side of the ClickBark and um, let's see one of the winners. Oh, okay, so we've got Steve Koblenz. Oh, I know this guy actually. He's a um, friend of mine from Facebook and he's into the robotics business. I think he's a sort of like a software engineer and so on. Wow, actually, let's check him out, his video clip. Hi, my name is Steve Koblenz and this is my entry for the distance. He's a winner. I Whoa! Click saber. Click saber. Star Wars theme. Yes. Lightsaber. <laughs> See, this is like what these guys can do. Like magic. It's just miracle what these guys could come up with. Nice. Because we got this red tip. That's actually with distant measuring sort of device. Nice. Same way. All right, so if you power off, that's the sound. It's the whole entire program. I have it programmed in green and red and soon to be multiple colors. Nice. Well done, Steve. You're the winner. Thank you. So um, actually, let's actually build and see how it works. So here it goes. All right, so I downloaded um, Steve Koblet's uh, number one Click Saber Ultra 1. So it's pretty um, simple assembly system, I guess guess so I need to get obviously the head out and then two bowls um, one two and then let's say the two sticks I like to call it two sticks and lastly the distance sensor unit that's all I need this is really simple engineering and cleverness that we got here so let's assemble that here so you can move that and then the distance sensor onto the top. Okay, and then right below that, all I need is the, okay, the back and the also another stick there. And then lastly, another circular handle that goes to the bottom. And that's all pretty much done. There you go, a lifesaver for you. So the ClickBog is all turned on as you can see and I'm actually on the My Creation page which I copied uh, the program for my mate. So let's look at the program page. Uh, there are two options, there's green, uh, click saber and the red. So let's try the green. Uh, I believe this is how you actually activate it. So there's an arrow on the top. You just press that and then um, you actually activate it, okay? So the moment of truth. Okay, so there's some movement there. So press pray. So, okay, I believe I have to notch it on the right. Nice, look at that. Can you see that um, green light over there? And also the green stripe in here and the front and the back as well. So. It's like, wow. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at that. That is really cool. So you can actually see how complicated this whole programming is. There's all these sort of stage and it looks very complicated, but I'm sure for a guy like uh, Steve, he'll be able to do it very easily, but wow all these program side and the beauty of it. That's just really cool. So actually let's try the uh, lightsaber, the red version as well, shall we? So if we exit that and then click on the red, um, click saver and then press the power play. So let's nozzle it up slightly. There you go. So that's the red as well. So you can actually do a bit of a Look at that, that is so cool. Again, so you see the red sort of stripe and on the front and the back and also the screen as well indicating it. So if you do a bit of a... 
That's really cool. So it does feel kind of like a lightsaber. I guess there's a bit of a fear that this might actually fall off. But this, because it's like a minimalistic, straightforward, very easy symbol, you know it's quite secure sort of build. But I think why not I just nudge the actual sensor slightly to frontwards actually, so it's more direct access to the top. So. That is so cool. I mean, the way how he programmed it. And so on. That's that's really cool. So this is the thing. I mean, the beauty about QuickBox is that you can do so many um, different customization, downloading the actual program, copying whoever actually done a really fantastic um, built and also programming as well. So you don't need to spend too much time on it. I mean, if you're an original um, programmer, you could actually do it yourself. But this is just a demo of one of the many, many thousands or maybe ten thousands of um, settings that the community uh, people have actually uploaded so you can have so much fun with QuickBox and that's the beauty of it and um, yeah well done Steve this is really good sort of program and no wonder you won the um, the award for the um, QuickBox competition so uh, make, make sure you actually check out his QuickBox page and download his uh, program it's really smartly designed and you can see how professionals actually build their own and do the coding for robotic side as well so yeah very good well done so anyhow i hope this video demonstrated how good this clickbox product is but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is lzp tech all the best bye bye <laughs>